What's up everybody and welcome to the Fight franchise and our review and kind of what we think of the new massive signing the UFC has acquired from Ryzen, um, Kai Asakura. Um, this is a massive coup for the UFC which is um, making waves and headlines all across the kind of MMA media at the minute where people are saying this is the kind of next big star out of Japan and next big kind of name of from Japan and he's going to make waves and a splash in the UFC and I'm just going to kind of give him my thoughts in two pence of if that matters or what it seems of what I think of this kind of coup and what they've gained from Ryzen. Um, from for all intensive purposes if you look at social media kind of YouTube and the star that Kaya Asakura is he is a massive star within the kind of MMA media um, MMA world in Japan. Um, people are saying like he, he pulls in like crazy views and crazy numbers in uh, Japan and what, what he's capable of. And he does, like if you look at his kind of uh, presence within the MMA world over there, he is massive. I think a lot of people kind of forget how big MMA is in that side of the world. I think because UFC is such a global brand and how big it is, um, people, people look at it like, you know, it's the B leagues, but Japan has a huge history in the world of MMA, you know, it delved from kind of Shuto and that kind of side of the world and that pro wrestling side of the world. They had a massive influence in mixed martial arts and the modern day mixed martial arts. So when we see kind of what the kind of fame and kind of what he's got there, it, it doesn't surprise me because those guys, when they get behind their people, you know, they get behind their people. You know, if you look at, um, New Japan Pro Wrestling, for example, they get behind their wrestlers like crazy and they show them huge amounts of respect for what they do. And it's going to be the same with MMA. He is a massive uh, superstar, you know. He's got, if you look at his um, YouTube channel now, 1.35 million subscribers. He is going to be a huge name when he comes here. Um, how do I think he does in terms of the UFC? If I'm being brutally honest, I think if he goes to bantamweight, he's going to be at fraud check so badly. Um, I don't think he will have success in the UFC if he goes to bantamweight. That's my honest assessment. I think he's a great fighter and a great talent. But I just think when you look at the level of competition he's been fighting in Ryzen and that side of the, that kind of region of MMA, they do well with lo the lower weight class fighters. You know, there's a lot of great lower weight class talent. I think if you get bigger, I just think the talent pool there is more suited to smaller fighters. I think as you get bigger, you won't have many big and success, like bigger weight class successful people coming from that side of the world here. And the lower weight class guys have a lot of success coming here. But if you, if you look at his record and it is a great record and he is a fun fighter, it doesn't give me high hopes for him in the bantamweight division, if I'm being brutally honest. Um, I think he'd be much more suited to flyweight, and I think he could have a lot of success at flyweight. But he did say, look, I want a top five bantamweight, which I think, if, you, if I'm being honest, is murder for him. I wouldn't I wouldn't even want. Let me see who's in the top five bantamweight, because uh, O'Malley's champion. And I think O'Malley would be a nightmare matchup. Not because I think he isn't skilled. I just think the frame and size of O'Malley. Like, that's the thing. These guys who come from that side of the world fight a weight class lower because these guys from this side of the world who are just, they're just bigger. Like, Sean O'Malley's 5'11". 5'11", fighting at bantamweight. I'm pretty sure DC was 5'11", fighting at light heavyweight. It's just a different ball game. Um, San Hagen's massive. He wouldn't have he wouldn't have great success against him. Marab is a terrible wrestler. Piotr Jan is a fun fight, but I think he loses that just due to the skill level of Jan. Vera, that would be that would be a good matchup, just because Marlon Vera is a slow fighter. He's a slow pace fighter, which could be good for Asakura. I just think size and strength wise, I just think Vera has that a little over him. Now. If he fights Henry Cejudo, there's a good opening to get into the top five of the bantamweight division. Because I think Kaya Sakura versus a declining and aging Henry Cejudo, you know, is a really good gauge to where he is. Because I think it's a very winnable fight for him. However, though, if I was his management and if I was him, I wouldn't be advising to go to 
bantamweight, I would be going to flyweight because I just think he is a flyweight. I just think he's built like a flyweight and he's the size of a flyweight. If you look at one of his most, you know, famous rivalries in Ryzen, it was against a flyweight right now, Manel Cap. You know, um, he beat Manel Cap and then he lost to Manel Cap Vikeo. So I just think he is more suited to that flyweight division. And I think he did say somewhere, you know, I want to, I may be too small for bantamweight in the UFC. So um, I think he has all the potential to be a star. Like he will bring that fan base. And I think if I was the UFC, I would be lining up a UFC Japan for him. If they can get a fight, you know, fight card booked at the end of the end of the year in Tokyo, I think it'd be a great way to start him off. I just think if I was the UFC, I would just scrap Bantamweight and get him down to flyweight. I know he's probably thinking that cut will be too much. I can't be bothered to make that cut. It's too much for me, but I'm not sure. Is Ryzen's Bantamweight division 125, 135 pounds? Because I know some people go by different numbers. No, it is 135 pounds, their Bantamweight division. But if I was him, I would just, you know, be a bit more strict on your diet because if I'm being brutally honest, if he gets, if he go, if he fights at bantamweight, he's gonna get exposed so badly, and it would be such a shame to have this massive hype talent, huge star, famous in Japan, big following, just get the hype train will get derailed, and it's just, it's just he's he will not become champion in that division. That bantamweight division is murderous. Like if you look at someone like I don't know. Asakura versus Jose Aldo who's just returned to the bantamweight division Jose Aldo and I'm sorry even at his age would be a nightmare matchup just because the skill level like these guys in the UFC are fighting the best fighters in the world I'm not saying that isn't brilliant talent in one Ryzen or across the world I just think the UFC you get a bigger talent pool from across the world and the best talent pool from across the world to sharpen your skills against Asakura hasn't had that opportunity yet so if I was him, when you haven't, when you don't really know where your skilled level is at at the world level, everything is the micro details make everything. You know, the smallest details mean everything. And weight, even though you know people say weight doesn't matter, it does. And for the for someone like him, fighting, like for example, just look at who was before, champion before um, O'Malley, Aljamain Sterling. Aljamain Sterling is massive. He's a bulky and big bantam was a bulky and big bantamweight which would have been not a nightmare in the grappling department for Asakura so if I was him go to flyweight because if not you are going to get exposed real fast and it would be a real shame for a new and hype talent to get exposed uh, this quick um you know a lot of people are like this is the big this reminds me a lot of you know when Justin Gaethje was signed from the world series series of fighting you know when Justin Gaethje was signed from the World Series of Fighting, you know, it was kind of that, I want to come in and put on the show and be the best fighter in the world. If Asakura wants to do that, be our guest. But if you want to be world champion and want to be taken seriously as one of the best mixed martial artists of all time, go down to flyweight where you're going to have a chance to be that and be one of the most successful flyweight champions of all time. Because at bantamweight, if you want to just put on fun scraps and entertainment for us, like Justin Gaethje did when he joined, you know, Justin Gaethje had that war when he signed for Michael Johnson. You have that war versus Henry Cejudo. You fight a guy just a bit better, like in, uh, I don't know, Mirab or O'Malley or someone like that. Gaethje fought Alvarez and Poirier and got smoked. The same could happen. You know, it reminds me of could be like that. But if he wants to become champion and take it seriously, go down to flyaway. Um, what do you think of the UFC's new signing, Kai Asakura? Let us know down in the comments below. Do you think he's going to get fraud checked if he goes to bantamweight like I do or do you think he should go down to flyweight where he will see success or do you think he has what it takes to be a successful um, bantamweight and one of the best bantamweights of all time who knows only time will tell um, let us know your kind of thoughts on that in the comments below leave a like if you've enjoyed the video subscribe for more MMA fight and fight content coming soon and we hope you enjoy the video and we'll catch you in the next one